competition. So everybody, today is the beginning of the end. And all thanks to this man, Bruce Mann. He is the legend and I have to thank him for all of these Ori trips. So today is our last trip of 21 years. 21 years. Uh, sad day indeed, but uh, absolutely an honor and a privilege to have been out here fishing with these guys, tagging all the, the research that is done. It's incredible the stats. Um, over that time, we've caught nearly 12,000 fish and we believe that on this trip we could exceed that 12,000 mark and uh, exciting uh, the number of papers that have been written the number of things that have been changed as a result of these these trips uh, for the better of our fishing and uh, as I said earlier all to do to Dr. Bruce Mann of Ori what a legend and I thank you and uh, I was super proud to have to be have been on these trips some amazing fish caught some of my personal bests and the one that comes to mind every time is a kuta of 30 of 25 kilos off the beach it has to be the ultimate fish that i caught on these trips obviously gt also very special and all the speckles and stuff but uh, what a trip it's been and uh, this is the last one Alright folks, we just had something really interesting. If you look at the line here, flapping in the wind, this fish was lost about 10 minutes ago cut and I uh, cut off and then I've just recaptured it. I was just saying now we've just had some amazing things on this trip and it goes to show how these fish, even though it's got a hook in its mouth, in the throat, it's still feeding again. Interesting. Challenging. I'll just give you an idea, we've been parked here for two hours and look at the sand, how it's blowing. The northeasterly is pumping. But we're fishing. Because we have to fish for 12 hours. Because it's part of the project. And if you watch El Prusa and Simon coming here. Look at their jackets. This is what we're fishing in. Pumping. Look at this, folks. We've never experienced this ever before. So Bruce caught this little speckle and it was bringing it in and it got chowed. Noblest chowed. Looks like a GT. Chowed it. <laughs> Crazy. Yo, yo, yo. Well, I'm Interesting. BQ, fast, yeah. Proper fish. Started on those rocks there, bouncing around, doing some wave dancing. A really nice spot here to land it. To a brick. I think so, yeah. Lovely fish, Bruce. 
is how you handle a big stumpy because they uh, they die so easily so you put his head in a bucket that keeps him alive Wow. I think this is a personal best BQ. Yeah. 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 So just taking a bit of a break. Just thinking of what had happened over the last 19 years. This particular spot is close to my heart. If you look there at that white water there, and if you scan across you can see the gap. And then there's more white water there. That white water is a reef that runs right across up to the point there. And then it also runs across to the left. But it's in this gap that uh, Lots of speckles here, complete the speckles. Sand sharks galore, GTs. It's a real special place, and to think that I probably will never ever see it again. Special place. The Zulu Land. And I'm sure Bruce also will miss it. It's been fantastic, and uh, it's nearly over. So last round, last throw of the dice, we had SB21, 21 years ago, it all started, and we're finishing at 21, SB being Sanctuary B, um, about 40 kilometers north of Cape Viral. Let's hope we finish on a flurry, sights and times, last try. Is it Mago? Listen to this. Yo, listen to that. What's wrong? You're suffering. You need a bucket. Why? 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 <laughs> How long? <laughs> Horizon Zero. Doing the thing here. In the dark. Oh, big fish, yeah. Big, big fish. Roger, last fish of the trip, put. Making you sweat a bit, eh? He's getting tired now. Are you getting tired? Oh, he is. Oh, he is. <laughs> so are you. Yeah. <laughs> In the dark. Goodbye. <laughs> Yo, goodbye. So we've got a double up here. Oh. Hey, Rob. <laughs> Singing, yeah. 
the master at work. Pull him, Ravi. Angry fish. Nice. Nice one. So we got Rob here and and uh, Roger on that side. Both of them fights. This is how you pull a fish. Don't mind me filming her, Rob. Incredible stuff, guys. If you ever want to know how to handle a big fish, this is how you do it. And you know what's so sad? If these guys don't get all the glory that they deserve. All the rugby players, cricket players, they will get it. And these spring box. Don't get the recognition that they deserve. They're also at the top of their game, just like everybody else. And this is what Rob was fighting. Got the guy on the side. There we go. Yo! Roger's still busy with his one. And uh, Rob's got his one out already. A lot of fight. It's important that the equipment also, proper reel, good, uh, good rod, uh, makes it also easier. Uh, he's got his number plate. So, Rob Cald already landed his fish. Roger's still busy. But to be fair, Roger's uh, tackle is a lot lighter. How long have you been going, Rog? Probably about half an hour. Wait, wait, you can't even answer me. What are you so tired? Just gotta love this about this man. Now he comes across and coaches Roger. Assistance. Night of the Sandies. Remember I mentioned earlier in my video how the Sandy, plenty sand is caught here. Amazing stuff. Taking Roger right into the water. Gonna try and get him over that lip there. Because you could lose it on the lip. Man, I've got so much respect for this young man. So they're right on the lip in the water there.
tag going in. Just make one more first. There is it, there is it, there is it. Down, 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 down. Yeah. That's it. it. Remember the water is running away now. So. 